I don't know. I was recently uh, bothered because, like, I have two churches. I have my home church, the one I consider my home church, and then the one that my kid likes. We primarily go to the one that my kid likes, but uh, whenever there's, like, a service that I like, we go to my home one. I like my home one because no matter what, I've always felt loved and accepted as I am there. I could show up however I want, and they don't judge me, um, and they're very loving. At the other one, I get kind of judged, you know, or rather, they won't admit that they're judging, but they will say comments, sideways comments sometimes, or like little comments in there, that just tell me that they are. Like, for instance, one day, okay, so at my main church, you know, like, I always wear my weird stuff. It doesn't really matter where I'm going. If it's not too windy and the wind isn't going to take it off, then I typically will wear it. Uh, but we do live in Oklahoma, so. Uh, anyway, so I was wearing something of mine, but I always sit in the back. Like, at my main church, I sit in the lobby, so because, like, all the lights and sounds, like, I set my sensory stuff. At other churches, I always just sit in the back. Because, you know, I like to be out of the way. I like to be able to observe everything without being, like, in front of everyone. You know, I like to be in the back. Well, I was wearing my, I think I was wearing one of my pairs of fair ears. That was all. Um, it's also had it said that whenever I was wearing my cat gear. Somebody told me that, you know, well, I think it's just a bit distracting. Uh, I don't you know, for other church goers. And I was like, well, why is it distracting if I'm sitting in the back? No one can see me in the back. And if they are paying more attention to what I'm wearing in the back of the church and they have a sermon, then I think that says more about them than me. And then, like, another day I was wearing, like, pajamas because I don't wear pajamas to sleep in. I wear them as outfits because when I was a kid growing up, we didn't have pajamas. We just got, like... We just, we just helped in whatever we were uh, wearing that day. So when people, as an adult, people started gifting me pajamas, but since I wasn't used to wearing them, I just never got around to actually wearing them at night. So I just stuck them in my closet and kind of just wear them as regular outfits now. <laughs> kind of like lounge wear. And um, when I go to my main church, not a problem. Just like wearing my ears, not a problem. They still love and accept me as I am. Um, matter of fact, I get lots of compliments at my home church, but at this one, other one, um, they'll say things like, I just feel like, or like, see, even at my home church, sometimes they'll be like, oh, nice, relaxed day. Um, or they'll be like, make a comment about my pajamas being cute even. Uh, no one talks to me differently. No one says anything mean about it. Um, but at this other one, I'll get comments like, oh, well, I just feel like you should uh, show more reverence since you're in a church. Um. And I'm like, well, I don't think that God cares how I dress as long as I, like, show up, you know? And I don't know. It just bugs me. I don't feel like how I dress should impact whether or not I, the faith I have, or whether or not um, I have a really good relationship with God, or, like, and I honestly don't think that it should impact whether somebody else is able to focus, especially not when I'm sitting out of the way. Just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Feel free to tell me your opinions in the comments. Till then, I will uh, talk to you later. Remember, God spread the love, guys. Because love always wins.